I'm only like two months late, but welcome to 2022. And 2022 started with something interesting. I was on Twitter and I kept on seeing these emojis of green, gray, and yellow squares with a number and the word Wordle. I was like, what the hell is that? It has to be something, a new meme or something, I don't know. Numerous accounts kept on tweeting about that thing and uh, memeing it, so I thought it might be something that the youngsters, the, the, the new generation, are joking about that I don't know, until I realized that it's a game. So a guy called Josh Wardle created a game. He's a software engineer in the University of Oregon. Um, he released a game in late 2021, I believe, October 2021. And the website was called powerlanguage.co.uk. And it was just a game that you have to guess words. You have to guess one word, the same word exists for everyone. And it's a five letter word. And you have six tries to guess what that word is. And it would tell you which letters are right and which letters are wrong. So simple enough. And uh, how is it that this thing um, became so popular? I think this really capitalizes on the fact that crossword puzzles, word puzzles, puzzle-like games are really fun. And the reason they're fun is you can share it with people. Uh, so sharing with people, crosswords combined, became Wordle. Very simple, very easy to share your results. And the unique thing it was, everyone has the same word every day. So for today, the 20th of February, 2022, the word is tacit. What the hell is tacit? Well, tacit, according to Google, it's uh, understood or implied without being stated. So the word means it's understood or implied without being stated. Sure. And the example here is your silence may be taken to mean tacit agreement. Sure. Um, so what's up with this game then? As far as I know, getting it in four is good. Getting it in three is insanely good. And uh, getting it in two is probably impossible and your friend probably cheated. Uh, it's a really interesting game for me, especially because like with tacit, it's a word that I will probably never use, but still I think improves my vocabulary. So I think for first language English speakers and second language English speakers like me, it's very interesting. And, you know, I congratulate the guy, Josh Wardle, not only for making the game, but because in... 2022, February 2022, or actually in January 2022, New York Times announced that it acquired Wordle for, quote, an, in, an indisclosed price in the low seven figures. So probably Josh Wardle is a millionaire now. Mm, low seven figures, so low mini millionaire, I guess. <laughs> Good for him. So apparently this has, this game created multiple clones with any successful thing you start seeing clones in different languages, including Arabic, Basque, Catalan, Chinese, Croatian, Danish, Dutch, Filipino, Greek, Irish, Italian, and so on. So many different languages. And uh, there are multiple ad-supported clones on uh, Android and Apple's app stores. Uh, but the interesting thing is, this is a resemblance of why I thought I should have that subject as my comeback video after taking a break for three months. Creativity is sometimes about making something simple and uh, creating the way um, this place is lit. The visual appearance of the video was a creative itch for me. So it took me a while to understand what the hell exactly I wanted to do. And bear with me, it's a work in progress. Things might still change here and there. Uh, the wiring in that thing behind me is horrible. And, uh, but hopefully the microphone, the new microphone, the new lighting is something good to look at. And um, just like Wardle, uh, sometimes you have to start with something simple, hoping it grows. And if it doesn't grow, it satisfies that creative itch. So for this week, the first week that I post in 2022, it's going to be a short and simple video. I hope it is well, short-ish, it's five minutes. I hope um, 2022 
ends up being a better year for us than 2021 it was with the end of the pandemic, hopefully, or just return to whatever life was before. And um, I guess if you have something that you want to share, however simple it is, a simple code, designing a simple game, share it. It might go somewhere. You never know. See you next week.